Hello and welcome back to the Dandelion Diaries. I have a unboxing for you guys today and it is from Goulet Pens. So recently they did a restock on one of their fountain pens that I was really disappointed that I couldn't get my hands on. And so of course with the restock I made the purchase because I had been waiting for this for a long time. Anyways, Goulet always sends really cute packaging. They usually send a sticker, which this is one I don't have yet, so I'm excited to have that. A Tootsie Pop. And then they usually send you a little card of who packed your order, so thank you, Ebonique. And then this is like a little pen care guide of how to take care of any kind of fountain pen that you may have purchased. All right, let's get this out of here. And yes, it's a Bennu. So this is my first Bennu and I was reluctant to get one of the other styles and that's because Bennu, Bennu pens are very flashy and I don't have a lot of flashy pens. I'm not a big flashy person. Um, so I wanted one a little bit more neutral and I was really happy that this one came back in stock. This is just the standard cartridge that comes with the pen. It is blue, and then this is the warranty for the pen as well. So I'll just leave that back in the box. And this is the pen. I like the min minimalist packaging a lot. Ta-da! Oh, it's gorgeous. So beautiful. So this is the Bennu Euphoria in Iced Caramel Latte, which is a Ghoulie Pens exclusive. It has a fine nib. It does post. It is absolutely gorgeous. The reason I wanted this design is because it had very minimal sparkle. <laughs> Again, going for that minimalist look even though it's a flashy pen still, but I also wanted it because it is brown and I really like brown pens, cream colored pens, green pens, just more of like the earthy tones and this one definitely fit the bill. I do agree with a lot of the people out there that I wish the Bennu logo and the clip was gold to match the gold glitter in the resin, but I think it works well because it matches the nib so I, I'm not really too mad, <laughs> but let's do the twist test. So one, two, almost three to get the lid off. It does post and it is very kind of large. It is a very large pen. In comparison to some of, of the other pens. So here is the Bennu. This is a Twisby Eco, which is probably the largest pen that I have. This is a Lamy Safari. Here is an Estabrook Esty. And then here is a Vanishing Point. All kind of close together. So you can see that it's, it's definitely the largest out of the group. If we were to take the cap off. In terms of size with the cap removed, it is probably closest to the Estabrook, just in terms of nib size, but the actual length of the body is much smaller, so the Bennu is definitely the largest. So as you can probably tell with the nib, it is very much designed very beautifully. It has minor engraving on it and it does show the nib size. 
So you can see kind of in the center there, the middle F that is in kind of a cursive font to show that it is a fine nib. All right, I'm going to go ahead and clean this really quick and then I will do a writing sample for you guys. Also, before I do the writing sample, I did just kind of wash this out with some water and the pen does come with a standard converter that is a piston fill. So I'm just, I'm not going to be inking up the pen. I'm just going to be doing a dip test just because I'm not ready to ink this one up fully yet. I just want to kind of see how it writes. And I will be using it in a Hobonichi A6 notebook. This just has the Tomoe River paper, 52 GSM. And the ink that I'm going to be testing it with is the Pilot Iroshizuku. This is the uh, Suzuki, or yeah, Tsukushi. There we go. <laughs> And I'm just going to flip to a new page here. All right, so this is the Bennu, Oop, not talisman, euphoria in iced caramel latte. I do have it in the fine nib and it is a Goulet Pens Exclusive. For reverse writing, let's see. It does do it, but it is very scratchy. And then as for flex, it does have a little bit of flex, but not much. I wouldn't want to push too hard, but you can get some line variation if you were to push a little. So very, very, very nice. Very happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and compare it to some of the other fine nibs that I have. So I have a Sailor Compass Medium Fine, which does write much more like a fine. This is the Estabrook SD in Tortoise, which is also in a fine. So, so far the Bennu is probably closest to the Estabrook, which makes sense. And then this is a Lamy Safari, also in a fine. And this one is very fine to me. So yeah, let me know what you think about this pen in the comments. I was super, super glad that I was able to get my hands on one. It is absolutely gorgeous. The gold detailing with the warm brown caramel coffee colors is just fabulous. And I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but the resin on this is just absolutely stunning. It has a shimmer to it, even in the non-shimmering places. But yeah, let me know what you think and I appreciate you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.